Today, we're talking about SiriusXM buying Stitcher, a US appeals court approving the first federal execution in 17 years, the reveal of the Ford Bronco, and much more. Welcome to Able Bits, the show that keeps you in the loop with bite-sized news clips from the top trending stories of the day. Let's get going. As podcasting continues to grow, established companies are looking to get a piece of the pie. SiriusXM is buying Stitcher for a reported $325 million. The purchase is part of an effort from SiriusXM to keep up with Spotify, Apple, and iHeartRadio in the podcasting space. SiriusXM will be inheriting shows like The Dream and Getting Curious with Jonathan Van Ness and Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. This isn't SiriusXM's first acquisition. In 2018, it bought Pandora for $3 billion, which has been losing around 2 to 3 million active users per year since 2017. Do you use Pandora? For the first time in 17 years, U.S. courts approve execution by lethal injection. The U.S. Justice Department is proceeding with the execution of four inmates at the federal prison in Terre Haute, Indiana. Last July, Attorney General William Barr said that the Justice Department would carry out some of the executions of the 62 inmates on federal death row. Lawsuits against the government's lethal injection protocol kept pushing off the executions, but an appeals court overturned the injunction and Barr announced new execution dates for July and August. It's finally here. After 24 years, the Ford Bronco has made a comeback. Ford revealed the Bronco on YouTube with a 2021 Bronco Family World premiere, which was the number one trending video on YouTube. The 11 minute video covers the three new Broncos and all of the features that the new Bronco boasts. Built to reconnect with the great outdoors, the new Bronco will be off-road ready and come in three different versions, the Sport, four-door, and two-door models. If you want to reserve your Bronco, you can do so by going through the $100 reservation process. It's been a sad week for Hollywood. The recent deaths of Grant Imahara, Kelly Preston, and Naya Rivera have many mourning. Grant Imahara, engineer and co-host of Mythbusters, passed as a result of a brain aneurysm. Co-host Adam Savage tweeted, I'm at a loss, no words, I'll miss my friend. Kelly Preston, actress and wife of John Travolta, recently lost her two-year battle with breast cancer. John posted on Instagram informing everyone of the loss and commemorating his wife. Naya Rivera, who went missing late last week on Lake Piru and was presumed dead, has been found. Authorities said she used the last of her strength to save her young son. The bubonic plague is no longer just in China. Officials have announced that a squirrel in the town of Morrison, Colorado has tested positive for the bubonic plague. What does this mean for you? Risk for contracting the bubonic plague is extremely low as long as the proper precautions are taken. Some of the precautions are not feeding wild animals, keeping your pets away from other sick or dead animals, and consulting with a veterinarian about flea and tick control for your pets. According to the CDC, there are no vaccines for the plague, but can be treated with antibiotics if caught within 24 hours of exhibiting symptoms. There's more bad news for companies that are operating out of China. Huawei's equipment has been banned from the UK's high-speed wireless network. The technology company has allegedly developed close ties to the Chinese government, which means the equipment could be used for espionage or to disrupt telecommunications. Robert Hannigan, the former head of the British Digital Surveillance Agency, GCHQ, said Huawei and other Chinese companies present a real cybersecurity risk, but the primary threat comes from the intent of the Chinese Communist Party, as we see in Hong Kong. Are we at the beginning stages of a tech cold war? Only time will tell. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thank you for tuning in to Ibble Bits, and we'll see you later.